What's up guys, Drew here. Welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. This is subweek 201 and the topic this week is the element of earth. So first off, just some general information. Um, the element of earth governs all solid physical matter. So this is the body, the bones, the muscle, our sense of touch. This is plants and herbs and stones, the food we eat. And this is our physical possessions, money, and even our employment. The element of earth corresponds to solidity, stability, dependability, abundance, prosperity, employment, business, and fertility. And the nature of earth is feminine, negative, and receptive. So of course there are many, many ways that we can work with the element of earth. Um, one of my favorites would be working with crystals and stones. And you know, we can use them for gritting, for meditation, protective amulets, dream work, of course, in our spellcraft. Another way would be to work with trees and plant material. Now, trees in particular, um, just as Buddha attained enlightenment under a tree, trees have this ability to hold wisdom. And if we create a sacred bond in relationship with a tree, and sit with the tree in contemplation, meditation, just even just zoning out on the tree. Um, great insights can be gained and wisdom can be shared between ourselves and the tree. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And of course we can use different elements of the tree um, as well as herbs and plants in our spellcraft. Another way that I really enjoy working with the element of earth is with sand and dirt. So my favorite sands to work with would be beach sand, magnetic sand, and black sand. And then the favorites for dirt would be homestead dirt, which is just dirt from my property, four corners or crossroads dirt, and graveyard dirt. Now personally for me in my own practice, the two ways that I most consistently and most powerfully probably work with the element of earth consciously in my practice and in my life are through grounding or earthing. Um, I'm constantly out on the earth and my bare feet, even in the winter time, fortunately, I live in a place where there are many times during the winter season where I can do that. And the second would be binding. For me personally, whenever I do a binding, I want to bury it in the earth where it is contained. And I want to do so hopefully in a place where no one will ever find it. So, of course, there are many other ways to work with the element of earth that I did not mention, but this is just sort of my take and my experience and how I work with this element. I would love to hear from any of you if you have other experiences or practices that you regularly use with regards to the element of earth. If you're comfortable and willing, please leave a comment. And basically that's it guys. Thanks for watching and until next time, much love and gratitude.